Welcome back to Ozarks Live. It's time to go out to the Japanese Stroll Garden where Blake is spending the afternoon. How's it going, Blake? It's going so well, guys. Thanks. I am here with Lisa Bakerink from Springfield Sister Cities, and we are out here at the Mizumoto Japanese Stroll Garden ahead of this weekend's Japanese Fall Festival. Lisa, thanks for joining me. Remind people a little bit about what Springfield Sister Cities Association is. So, yeah, so Springfield Sister Cities, uh, we exist to unite people from other cultures, uh, allow them cultural opportunities, and uh, our, our, our vision is peace through people. So ultimately, if you know somebody, from another culture and you get to to meet them and interact you're going to be peaceful together yeah which is amazing and you guys do so many cool events year round for it including this weekend's japanese fall festival so give me the basic rundown of what people can expect sure so the japanese fall festival is a celebration of japanese culture but also our sister city relationship with isasaki japan yes it's 36 years old and uh, we have a delegation that came from Isasaki the first time in two years because of COVID. Right. So we're really excited to welcome three people from Isasaki. In addition to that, we have great performances. We have Samurai, a really dynamic Yosakoi dance team called Uzumaru, our large scale calligrapher, Sierra and Chiba, uh, Yasu Ishida, magic storyteller, and uh, a whole lot more. Kizuna, our, our Japan American Friendship Club. We also have lots of vendors. We have classes that you can take, um, all related to Japanese culture, bonsai, kokidama, ikibana, yes. um, and then tai chi, which is, I think, a little bit more Chinese. Mm -hmm. but, uh, <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're just lots of things to do, food court, lots yeah. of great food. So. Yeah, something for everyone, which is always nice when you yeah. come as a family or with friends Absolutely. or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Now tell me, I know there's going to be a lot of different activities, specifically for kids happening this weekend, so what can those kids expect? So we have, uh, well, everything is kid-friendly and uh, great stage performances. Kids will yeah. enjoy as much as adults. But we also have a children's uh, area with activities specifically for kids. And the really cool thing is that is um, run by the Kickapoo High School Japanese language class students. Oh, okay. So Kazumi Holcomb is their teacher, and she does a great job, and her students uh, help uh, kids that come to the festival learn about Japanese games and yeah. crafts and things like that. Yeah. Now, something that interests me a little bit, so I know Springfield Cobbs play always partners with the Japanese Fall Festival. Tell me a little bit about that partnership and what they exactly do here over the weekend. Yeah, Springfield Cosplay actually got their start at a festival of about eight years ago so they got their birth here and they just bring that Japanese pop culture element mm -hmm. uh, to the festival which we love you know um, so just more culture for people to enjoy and uh, last year was the first time they had a holographic concert with the character Miku mm. and we're gonna have another one this year on Saturday night as well. Yeah, so, which is yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. Now something that I um, also think is super special that I saw you guys are doing online is this like candlelight walk at dusk both tonight and tomorrow. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so you know this garden is very zen already but at night with the tiki torches and the, the music uh, it just really transforms into this amazing place. Mm -hmm. uh, just enjoy walking with the candlelight, soft music in the background. And then at our uh, souvenir market, we have wishing lanterns that people can purchase, make a wish floated on one of our three ponds here in the garden and so we'll see all those lights on the on the ponds uh, yeah. at that time too so yeah yeah it's really a special time yeah i love that okay and now you said the souvenir market so is there other items people can purchase there besides the lanterns yeah absolutely we have items from japan we have um, more of the pop culture anime items and then we have the traditional um, ceramics and you know things like that so there's something for everyone at the souvenir market and uh, yeah, we just hope people come out and enjoy and uh, just get a real nice taste of Japanese culture. Yeah, take it all in. Yeah. Now, for people that have maybe never come and experienced the Japanese Fall Festival, what do you think they'll love most about the experience here? Oh, well, other than the garden, which is beautiful, <laughs> um, I think the stage performances. We have headlining uh, samurai, like I said, and they've uh, actually been going to the schools. One of our missions is to take culture to the schools. And so they've been performing for classes at Springfield Public School these last two days. And the response has been overwhelming. And yeah. So uh, definitely the stage performances are going to be a mm -hmm. hit. And I think those workshops are too, where you can you know, dig in and learn about something and, and have something to take home with you. Mm -hmm. So And you can register for those online. Our website is peacethroughpeople.org. Yes. And, uh, and you can find out all about the festival and the lineup and read about uh, our performers. And, yes. Uh, we do have a culture tent as well. 
well. Okay. Uh, Isosaki delegates will be stationed there mostly uh, doing some crafts and different things, but you can actually meet our delegates from Isosaki, which is very special as well. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, so um, tell me, so this is, we were talking about this, like the 26th year or so that you guys right. have done this. What makes this year like different compared to years past? Well, uh, coming out of COVID, we're back to like, every, we're doing everything again. So we have a tea ceremony, a yukata try on. So um, it, it feels like, you know, we kind of had to back things way off. Yeah. And now we've, you know, we've gradually built to where we're back to where we used to be. Um, so, and just, uh, you know, having people from Mississauki here after not seeing them for two years yeah. is really amazing. Yeah. All right. Now, one more time, remind people that website where they can find all the event information. So it's peacethroughpeople.org. And, um, yeah, you can go on there, find all the information and it's $8 on Friday and Sunday okay. and $12 on Saturday. All right. Perfect. Thanks, and Lisa. Thank you into everything. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The Japanese Fall Festival is happening all weekend and we'll be back in a little bit with a very special, very special performance back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Blake. Man, that sounds so beautiful in the evening I with the lights and all. Yes. Oh, yes. I love it. All right, up next on Ozix Live, learn about an upcoming 5K benefiting a special cause. We will be right back.